Downtown's newest development is exceeding even the builders' expectations, and that's good news for the city and taxpayers. RTV6 reporter Tanya Spencer is live at South and Delaware to explain why. Tanya. Well, Todd, the city gave developers an $86 million loan to finance the Cityway project. So it's very good news for the city that the first 100 apartments sold much quicker than expected. It's the buzz of the town. Kevin Noshang and Christy Kotinski consider themselves some of the lucky ones. They scored their rooftop access apartment at Cityway early on. I think we were the second person to get one of them, and then next thing you knew, they were all gone. In fact, all 100 apartments in the first phase sold much faster than even the developer expected. And the remaining 150 apartments, set to open next spring, are also going fast. We've taken 14 acres of downtown within the central business district. We used to be an empty parking lot um, for 18 hours a day. We've turned it into a vibrant neighborhood. That new neighborhood will have retail, restaurants, a YMCA, and a hotel, all right by Banker's Life Fieldhouse and the Cultural Trail. We're really encouraged by the demand. For that reason, we think that it was a good decision by the city to assist in the financing of this project. We're hoping that this will encourage both the developers and the lenders, the banking community, to get behind similar projects because we think that this demonstrates that there's unmet need in the downtown. Kevin and Christy say many of their friends are also moving to downtown Indy, which has a more than 90% occupancy rate. They believe that trend will continue. I think it will definitely keep on growing just because there's so much going on and everyone's so excited and building on it. Definitely see a lot more people moving downtown. Now you can see back out here live that the north end of this development is just a stone's throw away from some CSX railroad tracks. But even those apartments are already sold. The train goes through here very slowly, and because it's on elevated tracks, it doesn't blow its horn. So that noise really not a concern for residents. Now the street here, Delaware Street, will reopen. When it reopens, it'll be in both directions. And all 100 units here in these two buildings will also open in October. Reporting live downtown, Tanya Spencer, RTV6. Good to see there's such high demand. Tanya, thank you very much.